Breaking news live at 5. A federal judge has overturned the conviction of Brendan Dassey in the murder of Teresa Halbuck. You remember, Dassey and his uncle Stephen Avery were both found guilty in the 2005 murder. MC 26's Holly Baker is live at 5 with the latest on this case. Holly? Megan, this is the first huge development in the case since the release of Making a Murderer, the Netflix documentary that told the story of Brendan Dassey and Stephen Avery to the world. I just spoke with Brad Dassey, Brendan's brother, who was shocked when he heard the news. U.S. Magistrate William Duffin issued a 90-page ruling within the last hour. He says Brendan Dassey should be released from prison within the next 90 days, unless the state of Wisconsin wants to give him a new trial. Dassey was convicted in 2006 at 17 years old for his role in the murder of Teresa Halbach. He was sentenced to life in prison. Brendan is now 26 years old. In his ruling today, Judge Duffin was critical of the investigators and Dassey's attorney. He says Dassey's confession to detectives was involuntary and his criminal defense was not adequate. We spoke with Brendan's former appointed lawyer, Len Kaczynski, who says based on the evidence, this overturning isn't a surprise and he feels vindicated. Feels good in a sense that uh, you, you did the right thing legally and protected his rights, even though later on we disagreed on strategies and uh, I got off the case. I guess the part of the Netflix film that really uh, irritated me, frankly, is that I was off the case for eight months before the case was actually tried by two other attorneys. And yet the uh, impression that was left to most Netflix viewers was that I had something to do with the fact that he was convicted, even though I tried to keep out of evidence the most damaging evidence against him, namely his confession. Kaczynski says he thinks the state will appeal the ruling. And that's one of the things that could happen next, which means Dassey would remain in prison pending that appeal. The state can retry Dassey, in which case Dassey would remain in prison, or the state could wash its hands of this. And Brendan Dassey would, after 10 years in prison, become a free man. Something Brother Brad says makes him worry about Brendan's safety. Keeping you connected, Holly Baker, NBC 26. Thank you, Holly. Here's a timeline of key events in the Teresa Halbuck murder case. October 31st, 2005, Teresa Halbuck goes to Stephen Avery's auto salvage yard to photograph a minivan for sale. Then on November 3rd, Halbuck is reported missing by her family. On November 15th, Avery is charged with first degree intentional homicide and mutilating a corpse. On March 2nd, 2006, Brendan Dassey is charged with being a party to first degree intentional homicide mutilation of a corpse and first degree sexual assault. Both men were convicted in April of 2007. If you want to read the judge's ruling on Dassey, just head to our website, NBC26.com.